YouTube. Thanks for calling tier two support. My name is Alex. Today, we got a weird ticket uh, that came through my desk uh, that I put seven hours into. Uh, if you didn't see the intro video to the channel, this is that. Uh, I was a very annoying, annoying ticket. So if this video helps you solve this issue, if you are having this critical error for Windows, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video for the algorithm to devour. Uh, and let's take a look at this. Uh, so basically, here's what happened. I work for a managed IT company. Uh, one of our clients calls in and says that his admin profile within Active Directory is all set up. He's got all the access that he should possibly need. However, whenever he tries to give permissions to folders for users, things like this, uh, it doesn't let him. It says that he doesn't have sufficient permissions. So that was a fun one, right? Double, tri double triple checking everything. Mans has uh, literally all the rights that he possibly needs compared to the other system admin at this company who also has the same rights, who is also able to do everything that he's supposed to do. However, this guy is not. So we can't figure this issue out. Tried a few things, but that's ultimately not the issue. Uh, what what we ended up doing was we decided to just blow away his account since it was a pretty new account and copy the other admin profile that was working correctly and make him a user profile based on that or an admin profile based on that. So we did that and everything started working until it didn't. Then all of a sudden when he was trying to log into the machine, he was logging into a temp profile because the machine decided that once the new profile logged into the machine, it didn't want to create a profile on the machine for this user. Uh, that was a nightmare. So we got that figured out. That's not what this video is about either. Uh, but then all of a sudden after we got everything working as intended and everything was good in the world, it wasn't again. Every time he would try to go install the program that he needed to have the admin rights for it to begin with, you click the start button or you click the search bar to get to File Explorer or whatever else he needed to do to get to this application that was located on his computer. And for some reason, this pop up started popping up. Critical Windows error. Your start menu isn't working. We will try to fix this for you the next time you sign in. What? Okay, sign out, right? Sign out, sign back in. Everything seems fine, it's all good. He clicks the start button again, gives him the same error. So that's what we're gonna try to fix today, this critical error, your start menu isn't working. We'll try to fix it the next time you sign in. Now I scoured and devoured all of these links here on the Google machine. So the first thing that we tried was to restart Windows Explorer. And this is a simple process. If you go right click on the, uh, on the taskbar, if you can, if it will not let you because of the error, you can right click on the start button and go to task manager. So you pull that up, you go down here to the file explorer or windows explorer. Hello, steam. You right click it and you restart. And basically it's going to refresh your desktop. Now there were some reports that this was working for some people and uh, all they had to do was hit restart. It was a temporary fix and it would, uh, it would allow them uh, to get rid of that error and they could use the start button again. Not us, of course. So then we decided to run the system file checker, right? Uh, that can be accessed by going to uh, CMD and you want to run it as administrator, right? Yes, on that, brother. Then you just want to do SFC slash scan now. Uh, we weren't going to disable antivirus because as a third party IT company, we have antiviruses installed in all the machines. Those need to stay active. So that wasn't something that we were going to uh, to do. Uh, you can try to uninstall your recent Windows update. I've also heard reports of this working as well. However, that, uh, that didn't work for us. But if you wanna know how to do that, uh, you can go to settings, or if you can't access something, you go right click, click on settings. You'll pull up your settings. You'll go to update and security, Windows updates, View update history. From there, you want to find your most recent one. Uh, again, I'm not going to uninstall mine, but you can click uninstall updates. It'll pull up this command pa or control panel right here. You can find your most recent guy and you can hit the uninstall button and that'll remove it. Reboot the computer after that and see if you're still having the issue. I'm not having the issue. I'm not going to uninstall the most recent update. We didn't go through and try to start it in safe mode because I just thought it was super goofy because my admin account for my company the other admin account for the guy that was working at this at this uh, client's company as well. Whenever we logged in, we could click the start button just fine. This was a profile based error. Ultimately, here's what we did to fix it. Now, this is my little disclaimer 
that this might not work for you, but this is what fixed it for me. That's the great thing about IT, if you can call it great, is that one solution for the same problem isn't going to work every time. And I know that's weird, uh, but it's just the way it is. So we open up Task Manager here. We're going to go up to the top because we have this guy right here that uh, our tier three, I, I thought, tried to tried to run. I don't know if he actually did. You're going to want to come into Task Manager. You're going to hit File and go New Task. You're going to come up here. You're going to type PowerShell, and you're going to want to create this task with administrative privileges. You hit OK. It pulls up a PowerShell command. You grab this guy right here. You come in here. You right-click to paste. You hit enter to run it. Again, I'm not going to do it because I don't need to on my machine. You know, you'll see a bunch of tasks and percentages on the end there. Once it's done, after it finished installing, I came back into Task Manager. You find Windows Explorer again, and you hit the restart button. After that, I went and clicked the start button, functioned like it was supposed to. So again, I cannot reiterate enough. And this, this PowerShell command I will put in the description of this video, but I cannot iterate enough. That this worked for me, it does not mean it's going to work for you. Sadly, there are a bunch of other things that you can try that we went over in this video. However, nothing is guaranteed to work just because it works for somebody else. The world of IT is insane. The level, the, the onions, the layers, they go deep. And there's no guarantee that it's going to work for you. If I could guarantee it, I would. But that is my disclaimer on all these videos. Just because it worked for me doesn't mean it is going to work for you. I hope it does, and if it did, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video for the algorithm to devour, and I will see you for the next ticket, probably next Friday. Take care.